sometimes in life, in the real world, there are momentous occasions that occur. Stuff of legends, people would call them. You know, shooting stars, meteors, certain people becoming president. You know, there are certain historic moments that just catch everyone jaw-dropping, you stare in amazement, and then you don't believe what's happening and gotta work with it. Legit. So I was working in my other store, doing accounting work in my other store, and then I was brought attention to this news, and then I was like, okay guys, I'm peacing out, you guys gotta babysit yourself, I gotta go to my other store, I gotta do something real quick. I legit bailed on my 9 to 5 for a bit, so I can come to my other store, my nighttime store, and make a video to upload in the daytime, because this news is so monumental, game-changing, and simply amazing. Well, today, I dropped everything because Bandai dropped a little piece of news about a Digimon Championship 2021. I can't even talk about what that implies because it's going to be way too much for me to handle. Like, my brain is only so big. This is... I knew that this would happen eventually because the Digimon card game was growing at such a rate and, you know, it's like a rite of passage for good card games to get big tournaments, big sponsored tournament series and invitationals and stuff from the maker of the game, Konami, Wizards, Bandai, whatever. So. This is exciting news, guys. We're gonna go ahead and cover the update and then talk about what it implies and what's gonna happen going forward. And hopefully you guys enjoy this content. This is really big news. This is super important. This is probably one of the most important pieces of news Bandai has given us about this card game. And I'm super excited to share it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell to smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos come out. Also, we are so close to 10,000 subs. Can we just get there? Can you guys just sub? It would be really cool. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks! So this is from the official Digimon Card Game Global website. And as you guys can see here, you can be the world's greatest player! I mean, I already knew that. I mean, come on, look who you're talking to. Anyway, and this is for the Digimon Card Game Championship 2021. Very interesting, eh? Championship. 2021. Sounds pretty recent. We also got Omnimon up here, which is perfectly appropriate. Organized play is here for the Digimon Card Game Championship 2021 season. Oh, 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 that sounds exciting. Championship will be held at shops and online. After that is the World Championship Finals, where area finalists from around the world compete to be the world's greatest player. Literally, world championships. Yu-Gi-Oh has him, Magic has him, Pokemon has him, and now Digimon is going to have world championships. Oh, ho, 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 ho. things are heating up. And they gave us a schedule. Uh, offline store preliminaries take place anywhere from August 2021 to October 2021, approximately. So it'll cover BT5 format, maybe BT6 for us, which is cool. Um, area finals are November 2021. I guess that's more like a, a regional type, national type thing. Uh, where all the people who qualify at these preliminaries go to a bigger tournament and fight. Uh, seems pretty cool. Uh, Asia Finals in January 2022. Uh, and then Spring 2022, World Championship Finals, where the area finalists from around the world compete to be the world's greatest player. Japanese and English language players battle online with a new non-webcam based system. It's like they're trying to promote their Digimon lobby program or whatever. Can't blame them for doing that, it's actually pretty cool. Event dates and details are subject to change. Invite and open finals may differ depending on region. Japanese and English pricing may differ. Well, that's kind of obvious because, you know, the Japanese sets are always ahead of us and English sets are behind, whatever, okay. So this is pretty exciting with more details to come soon. But let's actually break this down a little bit uh, and talk about it. Well, what do you guys think? Isn't this just the best surprise Bandai could have given us? Bandai. Why did I call him Bandai? Bandai. Get it right. So what does this all imply? Let's dig into the finer details of this. This is World Championship 2021, which means they're going to do a 22, and a 23, and so on and so forth. We know that this will only get better. 
We know that this year will probably be the trial run to see how things go. And then as things grow and expand, this whole thing will grow and expand in the future. I have no doubts. I have no doubts. I'm curious to see what happens with the rollout of the preliminaries. Um, if only certain stores can apply to have preliminaries, any stores can do it, or if it's just going to be specific bigger ones. I gotta say, if Mars Gaming World can have a preliminary, <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty cool. I doubt it will just be anyone. But you never know. We're going to look into it and find out. There are more details to come. Things are still in the process at the moment. I'm curious to know what's going to happen when World Championship time comes. Because Japan will probably be a set or two ahead of us. Are they going to do like a TCG North America based ban list? Kind of like what they do for Yu-Gi-Oh! Worlds where they amalgamate the ban lists and have one set format for everyone going in Worlds. That's actually a super interesting thought and they're probably going to have to do something like that because we're not going to have everything Japan has by the time World Championships has, I'm sure. The area finals though in November sound really exciting. I wonder if they're going to do it like Canada, United States, you know, uh, freaking different countries, UK, you know, different things like that. Or if it's just going to be North America, Europe. I'm kind of kind of curious to see because, you know, the Asia finals isn't so specific. But, you know, it, it, there's definitely room for Bandai to go in this. I think it would be really cool if they split it up by country. Kind of like how Yu-Gi-Oh! did it back in the day with Upper Deck. There was a Canadian Nationals and there was a United States Nationals, right? That would actually be pretty dope. Canadians and United States don't have to travel too far, hopefully, to try to get their invite to Worlds. Uh, that's honestly what I'm hoping for. Hopefully they don't do just one big North America tournament, but either way, it'll be cool nonetheless. For real though, it's just super exciting that Bandai is doing this in the first place, and so soon! The game has only been out in Japan for like, what, a year now at this point, and they're already announcing something like this? And we haven't even had it yet for a year over here in North America. It's been technically six months if you don't count the pre-release in November. That's actually really cool that the game has grown to such a point where Bandai is comfortable doing something like this. It's a really good point for game growth, for the community. It's just a big win overall. Now how cool would it be to be the first world championship of the Digimon card game? Or even to go to the first worlds of the Digimon card game? That would be such a huge flex. Like you think about it. I think winning Charity Mon or winning a PPG will feel like nothing compared to going to freaking Worlds. You can tell I'm pretty excited about this because this is just only a good sign. This is only good news for the Digimon card game. This means that they are doing something right. They're actually performing the game properly. They're organizing it properly. They're going out of their way to make the competitive scene a whole lot more mature and they want to grow it and they want to get more sales, and they want to get more people in the game, which will get more sales, which will get more people in the game. And the cycle continues. Really smart business move, really smart. Get people involved, get them to spend more money in that attempt to try to get to Worlds. It's such a grind, and it's going to create such a more competitive atmosphere in the card game that exists right now. There are some pretty competitive people out there already, myself included in that, sort of. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of casual. But yeah, it'll take the whole competitive card scene and it'll escalate it on a whole new level. And that's just only going to be healthy for literally everyone. People are going to be a lot more serious, they're going to be a lot more dedicated, a lot more invested if they have a shot of going to Worlds and maybe becoming World Championship. Like, literally, it's the dream. Everyone in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic wants to win their regionals, or in Pokemon wants to win their regionals, or get atop of their regionals, or an invite to nationals, just so they can go to nationals and try to get that top placement to go to Worlds. That's what everyone wants to do in any card game. And it's really cool that Bandai is taking the steps to give card players the dream so they can do it in their platform, being the Digimon card game. What do you guys think about this news? I think it's pretty amazing, but leave your thoughts in the comment below. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think this is good? Do you think this is bad? Is there anything that you want to see specifically get implemented to preserve the nature and integrity of this event, of this series? What do you guys think about it? Just let me know. I love reading the stuff, love interacting with it. And I think it's going to be a really good thing overall. With that, guys, we're going to go. And we will see you later. Take care.